Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. On the last episode, we started going down Route 224, not the intended place we need where we were supposed to go to, but a detour that we have to take anyway. Uh, we started heading down the route, fought a lot of trainers, as we're trying to find out what's exactly at the end of the route, uh, leveled up our Pokemon a lot, and uh, immediately turned around and decided to call it a day early because, well, it was taking a while. Also, something's gonna happen at the end, and I don't know what to expect. So, this episode, we're gonna see what's at the end. I, I, I kinda know what should be at the end. Nothing. <laughs> there should be nothing at the end. But, I mean, there's, there's some story things that happen post-game that can happen here. Plus, another thing that can happen here way later on. But, we'll see if any of those happen. I'm very curious. And then once we're done with this place, we can finally, hopefully, get to the Pokemon League. So, where we're currently at in the route is at a split in the path. We can go that way or we can go this way. Uh, both eventually just lead to the same spot, so it doesn't really matter. I say let's go this way first because there's no one over here. And the only bit of place that we need to, well, we have surfed over something else. But there are some hidden items here. Well, there's no hidden items. I think I found them all. There's some items here. I don't have the repel on. All right, all right, all right. Rosa's making this little exchange longer. Right there is where it reconnects. So, like I said, not a very long detour. Should I activate that. And like I said, I think there's three more trainers. Two or three. There's one right here. I constantly analyze Pokemon in various battles on my laptop. Ace Trainer Jamie. So this is apparently another movie reference that the translators didn't pick up on. Uh, I can't remember where the last one was, but this one uh, is supposed to be about... Hold on, actually, this might tell me if I go to here. This is supposed to be about... That's the wrong page. E. It's supposed to be about Rebecca, a character that was in the seventh movie, Destiny Deoxys. Uh, according to her Pokemon list, though, she doesn't have a Vaporeon, so. But it does. It does mention that she did a lot of like. She has a laptop in, in the photo that's on her Bulbapedia page. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bad type matchup. Uh-oh, I'm getting out of here. Uh, here. The fight of the evolutions. As long as it doesn't use an ice move. E oh. That accuracy drop's gonna, gonna screw me, isn't it? Oh, thank God. Like, didn't need that now. I deal with it enough. Who will this KO? He's gonna get pelted by the storm again. Rose Raid. Uh, uh, well, it's Brent's time to shine like usual. Brent's gonna get this 80, and I can't wait for that. Because it's gonna be so great. 
I don't know if 80s, 80 might be the number to hit. Ooh, oh, Rose Raid flinched and the Sandstorm's gonna take it out. I hate that I just managed to live with the one thing though. But, you know, Sandstorm helped. Hooray! Metagross. All right, so this is this is the Pokemon that it mentions on her her wiki page. It does say she has a Tyranitar, but that's only in a cameo in a different movie, apparently. Hmm. Well, Metagross. <laughs> Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Hmm. Who would do more? Who would do more? I think Rosa would do more. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. Like every, every Metagross we've run into has been like, oh, we'll just hit it with our dark type move and then it survives and it hits us with a fighting type move. Or steel, I think either one would work. Would you be bad? No, fighting. It's gonna hit us with no oh, actually steel would hit us times two. But it's gonna demolish us. This is just an inevitability, unless it unless it dies. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Remember last episode we were talking about how Rosa always constantly gets KO'd and is, her friendship with us is not maxed out because of it? I feel like this is the reason- <gasps> I lived! <laughs> oh, that would have been the worst if the, the Sandstorm accuracy drop took effect right there. You're okay, Rosa. Doug Trio. Uh, Kendrick's going out. I don't think it matters. I think Doug Trio is incredibly fast. So, ooh. How bad is that for me, though? Kind of bad. Not the worst, right, Kendrick? That's what I thought. I just love hearing that low HP sound effect. Clearly. Things don't always work out according to my calculations. I can't remember, did I remove the lucky egg from Kendrick? Nope. You know what? It's fine. I mean, I'm sure a wise glasses would kind of help with maybe some moves, but it hasn't it hasn't hit us yet. I mean, it kind of did with the Brent hit and not not fainting the Pokemon. Why did I use a max potion? I don't know why. It's just a waste of a max potion. I'm gonna need to go stock up on Moomin Milk again. And maybe some Hyper Potions and Floor Stores. I'm rich, aren't I? I have $500,000. That's plenty of, that's plenty of money. Had a lot of fun battling with you though. I wonder if I can analyze the battle data properly. I can use a rematch to get some additional data. Is she actually a trainer that can be rematched? The wiki says no. So. Oh, I guess in the original game, she only has a Metagross. So, yeah, that's where the reference comes from. Oh, come on. The, the game designer could have given her a Tyranitar to, like, lean more into that. It's the only other Pokemon listed for her. Destiny not. My dragon Pokemon choose to become powerful here. They sure like it. All 
All right, Hayden. Altaria. Uh oh. Well, I mean, I can take advantage of your flying type. Might not be the best type. Why didn't you take damage from that? I mean, you did, but why didn't you take super effective? Uh, did, did Altaria's typing change and I just completely forgot? Because it should be dragon flying. Well, it should have taken times two from rock. Eee. I'll just hit it with it again. Uh oh. Ow. Once again, Rosa. Please live. <laughs> she toughened it out so I wouldn't feel bad. That's what happens when I fight the enemy. Okay, well, I don't know what type it turned into, but it's definitely not dragon flying anymore. Uh, we'll switch. <laughs> you did, you did good, Rosa. You hung on. To think if I would have just healed Rosa a little bit more before the fight. She might, she might have survived with more help. Uh, we'll probably just keep Brent up for the rest of this fight. I mean, clearly, <laughs> Brent is our MVP when it comes to completely embarrassing dragon fighters. Is this our first Dragonite? I feel like we've seen Dragonite, but maybe, maybe we didn't. No, 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 I, I think it was part of the Pokedex when we were looking through it. I'm already forgetting what Pokemon we, we saw and didn't see in the Pokedex. I just remember it was mostly, mostly legendary and mythicals and then a few random normal Pokemon. I feel like, oh, we're, we're missing, we're missing one of the pseudo legendaries, I think. Just, just because we've just seen Metagross, Salamence, and Dragonite, three of the five pseudos that are available at this point, and we have Tyranitar, which is the fourth one. Battle style, so savage. It's been several years since I left the Dragon's Den. I've gotta say, your Pokemon are in the top class for toughness. Dragon's Den, huh? That's in Johto. Makes sense. I'm just gonna use a uh, Hyper Potion. Do, 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 do. Actually, I think that's the last trainer, so we're almost at the end of the route. Got to use up all these potions. You know what? <laughs> just because we almost paid for it, let's just let's just put you in front there. Uh. So yeah, up ahead is the end of the route. I'm a little scared because I don't know what to expect. There is something that should be there that we should be able to interact with, but it's gonna not do all that much until later. So... Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, oh, crap! I just realized what we're gonna be doing. Oh, okay. He, okay, so he reduced the amount of options down to two. Either, because normally he would, I think he would be here in the post game. 
but I'm not sure if he would be here because of the the other like later thing or because of the post game naturally. But because he's here, I feel like we're going to be fighting him. Uh, crap. I don't remember what his Pokemon were. Does he start off with a? Does he start off with a with a bird Pokemon or is that just Blaine? How close can I get to him before he 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 does things? All right. Well, as you can see, this is the end of the route, and he's standing right in front of that weird white rock, which. Marley did mention when we when she left us that there was a weird stone thing that she wanted to see. And the, also the Ruin Maniac that we just passed by moments ago. So, something's up with this rock, I guess. This stone tablet. Is there really a mythical Pokemon that visits this? And why? Oh, Cassie. I'm surprised to see you. I guess you're on your way to the Pokemon League, huh? I was just performing an errand for Professor Rowan. The stone tablet is meant to be the key to meeting a Pokemon. I can't figure it out, though. The writing on this is ancient. So, Cassie, you must really be strong by now. You made it here, after all. I've been growing stronger, too. You haven't battled since Route 210. I'd like to test my skill again. And... I want to see your growth since we first met on Route 201. Please, let me know when you're ready. I'm looking forward to our battle. Oh, he gets he gives me a chance to to heal up and do stuff. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what's that mean? Uh-oh. We're fine, right? Oh, you're the only one that... I mean, you haven't been in a fight ever. I mean, you have, but it was to faint. It was like, I have some rare candies to give some to some people to potentially help. I don't even know what level this Pokemon are going to be. Just in case, I'm going to do a save state <laughs> because I can. All right, let's see. Hey, Cassie, are you ready to battle? Yeah, I guess I am. All right, great. Let's get started then. All right, Lucas. What are you starting off with? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, 69. Okay. Good news, I have a type advantage. Bad news, as we just talked about last episode, Alakazam usually has a fighting type move, so I feel like May is doomed, especially because Alakazam is probably faster. Uh... It doesn't have a fighting type move. It has a fairy move, which is gonna do exactly the same thing. Live, live! Oh, my turn! Ooh. All right, that was a good thing. Granbull. Ooh. Uh, great. What'll Grand? I forgot what Granbull's type is. I think he's just fairy. Poison and steel. Okay. What are the odds Granbull's gonna punch us in the face? Probably high. I, I'd assume so. Look at this thing. It probably has a fighting type move. I went first! Do enough. I mean, come on, Kendrick. You are you're our special attacker. If anything's going to faint it, it's going to be your special attacks to it. That's what I thought. That lucky egg coming in clutch. Jolteon. Okay. I think May's done for the fight. <laughs> I don't know if May's coming back out. Uh, Rosa. Clearly. All 
All right, let's get the earthquake off. Ooh, what type would you have that'd be very... Uh, you'd probably have another fighting type move, huh? Would you? Thunder Wave? Oh, why did I not expect you, you, you try and paralyze me? Uh, I might be I might be fine if this faints you haven't you have a ground type berry oh no do enough anyway it didn't do enough okay all right um do I risk it it might thunder wave me again. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal my status effect. It's gonna try and hit me with something. I don't know what it could possibly have. Maybe a bug type move. Maybe I don't know what else it could I could it could possibly hurt me with. Fighting type move something. It's gonna get hit by Sandstorm. Next turn, Lucas is gonna heal it. And then I'm gonna get a free earthquake off. And it won't have the berry this time. You <laughs> used it this turn. Well, okay, you know what? We, we, both, we both healed. Back to square one. Except you still don't have the berry. And also the sandstorm. It is faster than me, though. Ugh. And I could fail the coin flip this time. Why do I speak words? Well, I might as well just go for it now. There we go. All right. No point if I'm just going to continuously get Thunder Waved every time I heal up. So that's the only reason I healed last time. Because there might have been a window of me getting a chance. And then Jolteon was like, nope, window locked. I'm going to heal this turn. Infernape. Uh oh. Okay, so once again, you're you have a fighting type move. You're definitely faster than me, so I should not send out I should not send out Kendrick. But I wanna. <laughs> uh oh, but you're fighting type. What am I doing? Never mind. <laughs> Brent, clearly. Oh, but the fairy. The fairy's gonna get canceled out by your fire type. It's level 70, okay. Uh well I mean I still have psychic and flying on my on myself. Uh air slash. There goes your ace. Okay. You have two more Pokemon. But we're out of the we're out of the hard things, I think. The Alakazam and the Infernape. Eee! Memo Swine. Eee! What do I use? I can stick with Brent. As long as it doesn't do a rock type move against me, I should be fine. Oh god, that didn't do as much as I thought. Oh, there's that rock type move I was talking about. Yikes! It's like I read it like a book. Okay, all right, cool. Um well, <laughs> now what? Uh, my next fastest Pokemon would be Anthony, and it is weak to grass. But I am weak to ice. Oh, but I'm faster. I, the flamethrower didn't do that much, but this is super effective, so it's gonna do way more. 
Well, so is Flamethrower. <laughs> We're still fine. Licky Licky. Uh... This is a risky move. I'm gonna hope I'm faster than it, and I'm just gonna punch it in its tongue. Also, you know, let's just, let's just lower its attack. Why not? I'm faster. Ooh. Well, good so long, May. Unless it is a status move. Nope, it didn't. I mean, May would have died to the Sandstorm regardless. Unless I would have KO'd it, in which case the Sandstorm would not have activated after it fainting. But the Sandstorm might take care of it. Oh. Ooh, it has a berry? Oh, it has leftovers. Will it, will it heal? Will you heal it? I could send out Rosa, but Rosa's paralyzed, so it's it's not gonna get the move off. I'm just gonna send out Anthony and do another, another Leaf Blade. Yep, you're healing. All right, well, I'm getting a, I'm getting a free hit. So we'll see how much damage this does. I feel like this is gonna get you down into the yellow, I hope. <laughs> that did not. Okay, well, I could, I could keep attacking you with this. Or I could, uh, I could try and, uh, well, I'll hope for a crit. Once again, Anthony has a higher chance of crit. Come on, when I need it the most, it'll happen, right? Uh-oh. Oh, but Anthony's defense is also great, so... Oh, and it's also lowering its own speed. I'm fine. We win. Yeah, enjoy those leftovers, bud. I mean, if anything, I'm gonna get the crit now. And then he's at 74. You've really trained hard for the Pokemon League, haven't you? Still wish I'd get money from him. You're really something, Cassie. I can't believe you're the same person I met back in Route 201. I think you must be ready to challenge the Pokemon League now. Best of luck, Cassie. I know you can do it. Well, that's probably the, that's probably the flag. So now that guy either will still be standing there, but let me pass, or he will not be standing there, or he'll be standing to the side. Yikes! Well, the surface is unmarked. It's polished like a mirror. That's a lie. The, he literally said there's text on it. Well, the thing is, we will be back to this place later on. But for now, it's just an unassuming white rock. Because despite what everyone else, despite what it's doing now, everyone else in this route's been saying, oh, it has a mysterious property. This place is weird. There's a mythical Pokemon here. They're all right. But we're not gonna be dealing with that for a while. I, I was about to, oh, I was about to use a repel. That's what I was doing. So we do have part of the map that we hadn't finished going through yet in the lower section. It's a section we couldn't have gotten to anyway because Marley was with us. It's this way. I 
I said, there's a lot of water down here. But since Marlu is with us, we couldn't surf anywhere. Now that we can, there's nothing that way. I think there's an item right there. Let me just double check. There is. Okay. Good to know. There is this double battle here. I could do it as a double battle. Yeah, sure, why not? I want my Pokemon to get a taste of the sweetness that is victory. I can't afford to lose this one. So you're saying I've never tasted it before? Let me see what you got there, kid. I can give you some advice. Arthur and Clarice. Okay, not exactly a great type matchup for anyone here. Uh, I could switch to Brent and have uh, May do Earthquake. Or not May, Rosa do Earthquake. That at least hurts Swallowed a lot. Probably not Gastrodon all that much. Ah. Oh. Well, that earthquake that spans multiple enemies is only hitting one. Ouchies. Brandon the Swallow are the only ones getting hurt by this. Okay. Moonblast the Gastrodon. You better not again. This earthquake might not do anything. But the Gastrodon faints. Yep, earthquake's doing nothing. Okay, there's no way Swalot's getting another Protect off. As much as it sucks. Oh, well, Beedrill should be fine. Uh, just in case. Beedrill doesn't have Levitate, right? No, it has Poison Point, I think. They're both poison type. Look at their red beady eyes. I should have used it on Swalot, I guess. No, I just wanted Swalot to die. Brent's at 78. Uh oh. You're fine? Oh, uh, well, you couldn't escape it this episode, I guess, huh, Rosa? I don't know who you're sending out. Kendrick, sure, why not? Get some of that Lucky Egg status upgrades. Ooh, Scizor. All right, you'll use Flamethrower on the Scizor. You'll use Surf on everyone, including Brent. Look at that health bar drop. Ooh, that's why. Four times effective and a critical hit? That thing is dying from forever. We just wipe that scissor from existence. Ow. I don't need you to faint my other strongest Pokemon, please. Ooh. Oh, but the Sandstorm. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind the Surf. Kendrick fainted it. 
Well, you got two Pokemon, Kendrick. Congratulations. You get to share all the experience to yourself. Uh, Anthony. Ampharos? Ooh, that's bad for me. Ninetales. That's less bad for me. Oh, thanks! <laughs> you just predicted Anthony from status effects. Let's get rid of the Ampharos now. Uh, I'll surf anyway. I just need this to do damage. Crit it, please. Oh, sweet. Oh, that was a crit, though. Oh, boy. Anthony might not actually survive this. E. Well, so much for that. Sunny day. Oh, but the 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 sunny day powered up the flamethrower, didn't it? Oh, and it also weakened the surf. Crap. Okay. All right. E. <laughs> I'm losing a lot of Pokemon very quickly. Why is this fight apparently harder than the than the than the Lucas fight? Oh, because I'm fighting two Pokemon at once. That's why. Okay, um, I need to take care of that Ninetales now. Ampharos is actually slower than Kendrick, so. Uh, that might help. Oh, but Flamethrower is a, Flamethrower is a special attack that it's going to use. So, let me... Ooh, what do I do? Do I crunch Ninetales? Because this will let me go before Ampharos. And Ampharos is electric, so as long as I don't use... Well, I guess... Wait. It took, it took half damage from water, which it shouldn't be able to. What is... What did Ampharos get turned into? What takes half damage from water? No. 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 You're, you didn't get turned to electric water. I refuse. Or electric grass. Uh. Electric dragon? Okay, you either got, you're either electric water, electric grass, or electric dragon. All of which are not great, but if you are electric dragon, then... Uh... <laughs> I can try and do something funny. Here, we'll crunch Ninetales. Use, you use Blizzard then. Why was that not very effective? Hello? What did Ninetales get turned into? Oh, I hope... I don't know if you'll survive this, Kendrick. No. Darn it! I was hoping for something dramatic. Well, this isn't good. What did Ninetales get turned into? If you're like half damage, oh, are you are you fire fairy? Oh, you're fire fairy, aren't you? Oh my God, Jerry, you're all that's left. Okay, hold on. There's no way Jerry's getting experience from this fight, right? No, 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 no. You're attacking the. Oh God, Jerry is gonna get experience from this fight. Jerry's gonna level up so much. It's not even gonna be funny. Uh, I'm taking care of the nine tails. All right. You're gonna heal. You know what? You're gonna you're gonna revive you're gonna revive uh, Kendrick so he gets experience. So he'll take it from you. I feel like 
Jerry is still going to level up at least five times. Maybe enough to evolve. That is if Ampharos doesn't faint it. But, I mean, she, Jerry might get enough from this fight. This one alone. Let's see. 813 experience points. That's quite a lot. Level 11. Oh, you're not learning a darn thing. There's level 12. There's level 13. Okay. And there goes Jerry. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hey, Kendrick, you're back. And you're all out of Pokemon now. But technically, so am I. You have static after all of that? I like it in future generations where electric Pokemon can't be paralyzed. This defeat is the tang of my bitter tears. You got way too much. I'm sorry, my Pokemon team. I promise I'll get better at this so you can get a taste of victory. You keep on saying that like you've never won a fight before. Well, I don't have any advice for someone as tough as you. Okay, time to revive all of my Pokemon. <laughs> you know what, Jerry, you can stay fainted. I don't need you to be alive. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I revive Jerry just so. Just in the just in the chance that I have to fight something and I need to send out Jerry to either tank a hit or be useful as a revive. Like, to use items on other people. I'm... I mean, I feel like the fight with Lucas is enough, but also I think Blaine is going to show up. He did show up when we were at Sunny Shore, and he was like, I don't want to fight you now. I'm going to fight you when I'm better. But usually, the rival fights either happen, rival fights like that either happen right before the Elite Four, or they happen in the Elite Four. Well, I mean, a rival fight in... No, that was, I mean, that was, I was about to say Emerald was different because, uh, who were we in Emerald? <laughs> were we Brendan? I think we were Brendan. May didn't, May fought us at Lily Cove and that was the last time we fought her, but Wally showed up in the Victory Road and fought us there. Our rival Silver, or whatever we named him. In uh, Generation 2, fought us in Victory Road. He was, the, in fact, the person that eliminated everyone else in Victory Road. <gasps> I have leftovers now! I'd have to go buy it at the, at the casino, thank God. That's so nice. Hell wore off. Ooh, a Celio. Oh, I could have electrocuted it. May could have got the 73. No, there's one more item to get, and then I then I can head forward to the exit. We gotta go this way though. Didn't go this way. I could have actually just taken that southern path right there. I have a I have a sixth rare candy. That can't be the only item in this maze because there's a huge maze here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is it here or is it above? It's above. Ultra Ball. I 
I think those are the only dead ends. Yes? We're good. Oh, that repel didn't last long. You know what suck? If we got to the guy and then Blaine showed up. If he does, I know he starts with his... He starts with the Staraptor. So... I'm gonna make sure I'm at full health. It'd be the worst thing. I just wanna get there, please. I could've just used you. I just want to get to the Pokemon League so I could use it as a fly point and get Jerry off the party. He's gone. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Whoo! I'm safe. All right. The last thing. We did see this waterfall from the telescope back in, uh, or the binoculars back in Sunny Shore. The actual last waterfall. Are there hidden items here? No. We made it to the Pokemon League. Oh, do I I save it here? We 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 call it before we enter. Oh, just in case we go inside and Blaine's waiting for us. Cause so far it's all peaceful. Ah, but that's gonna do it for this episode. On the next episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum, we get to finally go inside the Pokemon League. I don't think that's gonna be the start of the Elite Four fights that we're going to be doing because we're probably going to do a very small amount but very quick amount of level grinding since we can. <laughs> since there's a very easy way to do it. Uh, but until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Enjoy.